I'm sitting on the Hansa 588. It's 56 feet long and today I'm here to take you on a tour. 56 feet, that sounds like a lot and it is. You will be amazed by the space that it, uh, that's inside. And it can actually hold up to eight to 10 people with everybody having their own bed, depending on the kinds of cabins that you want to have in your boat. 56 feet is very long, but still you can navigate the entire boat by yourself or just with one other person, but we will come to that later. Come join me today for a tour. As I'm already in the bow of our boat, this is where we will start our tour. I'm in the very front now. As you can see, here we have a double force day. If you want, you can have a sail that will fit for every wind condition that comes your way. So that's an option that you can have, and it's right up here. Then next to me, we have an electrical winch for the anchor chain. So the anchor will be lowered by just a push of a button of a remote control, and there's no need for heavy lifting at all. I'm still in the forward part of our boat, and we have a big flap down here in the bottom. I can open it up and it stays open. There's an hydraulical mechanism behind it, so it doesn't fall down. And as you can see, there's a ladder down there that goes right to the bottom of our boat. And all the space is all storage space. So you can use it for whatever you need to store away that you don't need in your everyday life. For example, the fenders when you're out at sea, everything can be stored down there. And I can probably fit in there twice or even three times. I'm sitting right next to the mast. It's over 25 meters high. And as you can see here, this is of carbon material. This is an option that you can have. You can decide yourself. But if you want to go for even more performance, the carbon mast is the right way to go. Right next to me here, this is a part of the so-called Hansa Easy Sailing concept. It's something that Hansa invented themselves. And this is called a self-tacking jib. So this allows the foresail to tack itself and makes um, very easy sailing. The entire system is so called so that one person alone can navigate the entire boat. So that is one part of this. Then we also have another part here that's also part of the same concept. You can see that all the sheets are fed away into the deck and then hidden away until they come out in the back at the helmsman's positions. So there is no sheets lying around, nothing to trip over and the entire deck looks very tidy and safe because there's nothing lying around. I'm sitting here on the teak deck. You can of course decide yourself what kind of material you want as the top on your outer deck. And we have a lot of skylights in here as well. So this one for example goes down into the cabin area and when you have a look a bit further down to the um, stern of our boat you can see a huge skylight as well that gives natural light into the saloon downstairs but we will see that later on. This is the back part of the outer deck. As you can see, there's a lot of room so I can even lie down in this direction and there's room enough for at least three, four, maybe five people lying here in the sun. We could put down some cushions here as well. We have decided not to in order to show you this really big skylight that goes down into the saloon. And when I lie back down, I have the entire sail above me. This one has a sailing area of 157 square meters. So that's quite something to see above you when you're lying in the sun. I'm standing on the gangway now. You can just decide to have that for your boat. It's an option that we offer. This one is pulled out hydraulically. So on the push of a button, it will just pull out here and connect your boat to the pier. There's also an option to have a fold out gangway that will just be folded back to the boat. When I come back on board, right here below me, that's the bathing platform that we have. We won't open it today because we're still in the marina, but you get the idea. It's right next to us here and it will be pushed down right to the water's edge in, and it's almost as wide as our boat is wide as well. Right next to it, this is the ladder that goes down into the water for an easy access. And right next to it here, we have this flap that opens and has a very comfortable set of stairs that goes down to the bathing platform. So no jumping necessary, and you can comfortably reach it down there. When I come back on board, I can just fold down this and it will be my helmsman seat.
This is the starboard side helmsman position. We have two, there's one on the port side as well. So as I said, you can navigate this boat all by yourself or with another person. When I'm standing here, I have really good vision all over the foredeck so I can see all the way up to the bow of my boat. So really nice visibility when I'm sitting here. In the helmsman position, I have all the panels and knobs that I need. So I've got my seat charts, I've got the control for the autopilot, for the bow thruster. If I have one, I have the compass and I also have the engine control. The engine is a 110 horsepower engine. If you want to go for a bit more speed while in the engine mode, you can also enhance that to 150 horsepower. And the engine is powered by a fuel tank that can hold up to 520 liters of diesel fuel. So that's all below us, you can't see that now. When I'm sitting here, I can either sit in the back or actually sit on the side here. I still have the nice visibility all the way to the bow. And from here, I also have access to all my winches and all the sheets that we have seen before that are fed into the deck in the boat part of our boat. They come out back here. So all I need for sailing this boat, I can have from this position here. And what's also very neat, when the sheets come out here, I can store them right under the side seat here. So nothing is lying around, nothing to trip over. On this boat, we have really beautiful white carbon steering wheels. That's an option that you could go for. There is of course other materials or a leather top as well. So whatever you prefer and what's best for you. But in this case, I think it makes the whole thing look very sporty. And it goes well with another piece of equipment that we have right in the middle of both Houndsman's positions in the back. And we open it up. Below we have a grill and also a little sink. So while we're sailing and navigating, somebody else can cook the barbecue right here. And I think, especially when you have a big group of people on this boat, that's a really nice thing to have in the summer. Right below, that's also an option that you can go for. We have an additional little fridge. So for the nice cool drinks while driving, you're all well prepared. So this entire thing you can go for as an option. Just talk to your dealer and they will tell you what it's all about and otherwise it will just be a bench for somebody to join you in the helmsman seat. I'm sitting in the very spacious cockpit area. You can see the sofa around me is really big. I would guess five people could easily sit here and as we have the same amount of sofa space on the other side of the boat, just across on the other side of the cockpit, there you have it, 10 people can easily fit even in the cockpit alone and that's not counting all the space that we have up front or at the helmsman seats. On this boat, I'm nicely shaded up here. We have a T-top on top of the boat. So the helmsman's position are shaded as well. And we have a bimini that we can pull out as well. Um, so they, that gives us nice shady area here. But of course, if we want to enjoy the sun a bit more, we can just push it back and it gives us the open sky up there. In the T-top, we have ceiling lights included. So even when it gets dark, we have the lights and can set the mood out here really nicely with uh, the different light options that we have. We have two tables, one on each side and one for each sofa. As you can see, there are bottle holders in the middle here, so I can have the wine bottle ready here when I'm sitting out here with my friends or my family. And we can also decide to have those tables lowered so they can be pushed down just by the push of a button and then they will be at the same level as the sofa. We can put down another cushion and then we even have more space for lying down in this shaded area. So it's like a sun deck, but of course with the Bimini on top. So I've come downstairs now into the saloon area and the first thing that I notice is this really big kitchen. So the galley is massive. It looks like a U form or like a little island. What I particularly like is this bar top over here. So it makes serving really easy and I could definitely imagine mixing your cocktails here and just putting them up there for all your family and friends who are sitting in the saloon. So you're definitely a part of what's happening in the saloon even when you're cooking or doing stuff in the kitchen. 
I will just go through the entire kitchen area to show you what there is. The first thing that I notice is the first drawer here. It has the rubbish bins inside. There are actually two of them, which I really like. So you can actually um, divide your rubbish depending on what needs to be gone very quickly, maybe because of the smells. And of course, all the smells will be gone as well as soon as you put it back into the wall here. So you don't have to see it and you don't have to smell it. There's a lot more storage space down here as well. Then we have the sink. It can be closed up. So whenever you don't need it, when you don't do the dishes, you can just pop the top back in and have more space on the worktop here. If you don't like doing the dishes, there's also an option to install a dishwasher that we have down here. It's blended into the cupboards there, so you don't even see it. You don't even see that there is a dishwasher down there, but that would be an option for you as well if you decide to have that. Otherwise, of course, it's just more storage space for you. Then when we continue our little tour, I can also open up the back here. There's a big storage space below here. It's tall enough for some one liter bottles. So for example, if you want to put your oil and vinegar there or all your um, herbs and spices, etc., that can be just stored there. And it's also out of the way and you have the big worktop when you're not needing it. The microwave you see behind me is also an option that you can include. The same goes for the range hood here. So if you want to have all the fumes go out directly, that can be installed too. But also there is a window just above here that can be opened as well to get in some fresh air. Because of course that is important when you're cooking, you want all the smells to go out as well and don't want to linger in here. Then we have another part of the worktop here. I can just pop it up and then it slides into the wall back there so it's out of the way. It doesn't get splashed or anything and that reveals our um, oven below and the stove top here. So whenever I don't need it, I can just pop back up the um, worktop and have more space there. Even more space here. And then as you can see here, the owners have decided to install two fridges. So that's up to you if you want two or just one or the dishwasher or the microwave or all of it. That's completely up to you. So you can decide what your kitchen is supposed to look like. What I really like is that the natural light is coming in from above. And we also have a lot of indirect lighting coming from the back there. Even more storage space back here, by the way. And we have the very bright lights on the ceiling here that also makes really good cooking light. Right on the side of the kitchen cabinet, you can see this little panel here. Now it's lit up because the electricity has been turned on. And from this panel, I can control all the lighting inside the saloon. So whatever kind of light I want, I can have. If I want a more romantic atmosphere, that's possible. If I want to work and want all the lights to be as bright as possible, that's also an option as well. You can change whatever lighting concept you want. If you press longer on one button, then the um, certain light will dim. So you can really decide what kind of light you want depending on the weather and what mood you are you are in. I'm sitting on the starboard side of the saloon. There's a couch area here. If you want to put up your feet, there's also the possibility to extend this cushion to my left out and then it will make a really nice um, flat area to lie down as well. But I will show you that. It's really easy to pull out and then you can see how that is done as well. You can see we have windows behind me here. We've closed them now because we're in the marina and the weather turned out not to be so fine after all. And as you can see, it's still very bright inside. So this is all the light that the saloon gives you. Even though everything is closed up, it's still very nice and light in here. And when we would all sit down here, so if I would invite all my family and friends, it would make together with the couch area on the port side of the saloon, a complete seating area for at least 10 people. As I said, on the port side of our boat, there's even more seating space. So even now, a lot of space, even if you would only use the one side to sit on. We have a table here. This table can be lowered. I will show you in a little while. And then it would be on the same level as the couch. We can put on another cushion. And then this entire space here would be perfect for lying down. So you can actually make another double bed out here. That, of course, would only be 
uh, would not be a permanent um, solution because during the day, of course, you would rather have the table, especially if you're traveling with a lot of people. What you can see behind me in the corner up there is a little speaker. There are um, speakers in all the corners of the saloon that depends on your entertainment package that you have um, decided on. So whatever you want for entertainment on board, that's completely up to you. You can also install a TV that would be stored inside the wall here and on the push of a button, just come up here to have your TV. This part of the couch on the port side of our saloon can be converted. I will show you how. It's a very quick way. Just pull it over and then the couch is not so much a couch but a navigator's seat. It's wide enough for two. And then I will show you the navigation area in a minute. You can see on this boat that the cushions are a really nice cream color. It's um, a leather kind of material. And you can also see that we have a certain kind of wood in here. You can all decide that. So if you prefer a lighter wood or a darker wood, um, other cushions and other leather kinds or just other colors, maybe not leather at all, that's all possible. So that's completely up to you. Whatever you decide to have as a design inside can be done. Just talk to one of your dealers and then they will tell you exactly what's possible. That goes also for the floorboards, that goes for all the materials outside on the deck, even the color of the sails, etc. That is completely up to you because we want you to have your perfect boat that represents your personality and of course is the place where you feel most at home. I'm sitting on the converted couch now. So this is my navigator seat. I have the navigator's table here. There's enough room for my seat charts. When I don't want them lying around, I can just open up the desk area and put it below. And you can also see there's all different kinds of panels and knobs and buttons. So for example, here to the side, there's a lot of them. We have a lot more here because everything, a single thing that is controlled by electricity on board can be controlled separately. So for example, I can turn on the electricity for um, the table that is to be retracted in the saloon or for the dishwasher that is installed. Everything has their own buttons. So you can be sure that only the electricity is used that you really want to use. So everything that I need is back here. And there's also this little sign here that shows me how full my battery is. So that's always good to know just in case that you can't use any electricity from land and you have to go back to your own battery. So that's all in here. You can see there's a lot of storage around. And as you can see, there's a little lamp here. I can also have the red light that's better for when you're sitting out here coming out from the dark, it's much easier for your eyes to work than with the bright light. Next to the staircase on the port side of our boat, we have on this boat here a laundry room. It's a separate room where you can have installed your washing machine. You can also get a dryer if you want, or just like here, some storage space for all your linens and freshly dried clothes. And there's also the possibility to have an extra bunk above it. So an extra bed that would of course be the perfect crew cabin, for example, and there's some more um, storage space and cupboards inside as well. Behind it, there's a double cabin. So if you want to use this space instead of a laundry room as another bathroom, that's also an option. I will show you how that would look on the starboard side of our boat. So this is it. This is the bathroom. It's accessible from the saloon, but also from the cabin. So there are two doors. So it's kind of a U-shaped bathroom. I'm standing in the shower part of it now. So there's the shower behind me. We also have a little seat down there. So even if the boat is moving slightly, you can also sit down in the shower. And then next door, so to say, we have the toilet and the sink with a big mirror and a lot of storage space as well. And in order to keep the toilet and sink area, clean from water when you're showering. There's also a door that separates the two areas from each other. And as I said before, on the other side, there's a door into the cabin. So it's basically an ensuite bathroom from the guest cabin. This is the guest cabin that we have in the aft of our boat. As I said before, we can have both on both sides of the boat, so um, four beds in total in the aft area here. There is a lot of room, so the bed is pretty wide and long enough 
uh, for two people and even though I'm sitting pretty much in the back of it I still have enough headroom above me so there's not really a way to bump my head on the ceiling. If I would do so the ceiling is kind of soft so I wouldn't really hurt myself. There's a lot of storage around here too so all along the ceiling here and we have a big cupboard as well so enough space for your guests to put whatever they need and as I said there's another of those cabins on the other side of the boat so we would have a total of four beds if you decide to go for that cabin concept. So this is the master cabin in the forward part of our boat. It can be said that it's like the heart piece of our boat. Look at this it's so massive it's huge. The bed is like an island style bed so you can actually walk around it here and you can use all the storage space there. It's ridiculous how much storage space there is. So all along the walls up here there's storage. I can open up every single pane here and what I really like is those little storage areas down here right next to the bed because for example if you go to bed you don't need your glasses you put your glasses right there and that's the perfect place for it and you don't have to look for them in the morning. And there's a lot of storage more that I can't even show you all even behind the headboard here which is really pretty by the way there's also storage space so it's incredible there's shoe storage there's cupboards and uh, what I also like about the headboard here you can see there's more indirect lighting coming from there so also here like in the rest of the boat a lot of different lighting options that you have the bed is almost two meters long so it's enough space even for a tall person and almost the entire bed has the same width as well so it doesn't get too cramped in one place or the other. You can also see there's a lot of natural light coming into the master's cabin here. We have windows on both sides. We have a big skylight up here right above the headboard that can be opened as well and we have two more skylights back there that can also be opened so we get a lot of fresh air in here as well if we want to and there's the possibility of installing um, an insect screen so if you want to keep the skylights open during the night in the summer you can but without having the insects coming in and of course there's the ensuite bathroom as well and if you decide to have this concept for the cabin that would give you six to seven beds but you can also decide to convert this entire space into two separate rooms so two cabins with a double bed each and then we would have the two aft cabins with a double bed each and you have seen uh, the laundry room on this boat so you can have the single bunk above the laundry area and you can also get a um, separate crew cabin behind me here so right in the forward part of our boat that would give us a total of 10 beds if you would go for that cabin concept but of course that's completely up to you and we also have that area that i showed you before in the saloon where we can convert the table and the sofa area into another double bed so that would give us a maximum of 12 sleeping spots on this boat so that is huge and it can be said that this boat would be perfect for long turn uh, for long trips where you're really away for a while or even if you want to sell your apartment or your house and come live on this boat completely this is the ensuite bathroom of the master cabin so it opens directly towards the bed area and it has everything you need there's a sink there's a big mirror right across from me more storage space even in the bathroom and the toilet is right below me here you can decide if you want to have a manual or an electrical toilet that's completely up to you just talk to your dealer there as well and they will see what's possible and what's best for you this is only the sink and toilet area we have a separate shower that's on the other side of the master bed, uh, bed bedroom also an ensuite shower but i like it really much because then you can have the two people use the bathroom at the same time without being showered when one is in the shower the other is on the toilet this was the tour of our Hansa 588. I hope you enjoyed it. There was really a lot to discover, especially the tons of storage space. I can't say it enough. I hope you liked it. And if you decide to maybe get one of those boats, just talk to our dealers. There will be one in your area. Just make sure to contact them. Maybe get some of the documents that will tell you exactly what's possible for your boat. As I said before, all the materials are completely up to you. So even what you saw today might look completely different than what you would actually get in your own boat. 
one of these beauties could be yours for less than 450,000 euros. So just talk to the dealers and get your special deal done with them. I hope you liked it and see you next time. Thank you.